can you hear it? It's the sound of children playing, and they're playing with abandon, as if they don't have a care in the world. It's the sound of strength, of kids who are growing strong physically, mentally, and spiritually. Pretty amazing, considering that these African children are orphans who, not long ago, were calling out for help and hope, and local churches like yours answered. Every school day in the Central African Republic, hand in hand orphan schools, in partnership with their sister churches in North America, are blessing as many as 50 orphans with real help, food, education, medical help, moral support, and in a word, hope. Come along with us for a tour of your school with Barb Wooler. Greetings to our friends there at Hope Grace Brethren Church in Dillsburg, and welcome to the Central African Republic. Let's go take a quick visit to your hand in hand orphan school in Bamiyan, Teacher Gilbert. Good morning. It is, what's the date today? March 2nd? March 2nd. March 2nd. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting here with Shannon on my left and Pastor Marcel uh, on my right here in Bamiyan Village. And the kids just started school, and I thought we would do an interview that we can send back to the home church in Dillsburg. So, Shannon, what do you have to ask Pastor Marcel? What would you say is a good thing that the school has brought to the church? Something that has really encouraged our church is to see the desire that these orphans have to learn. They come to school regularly, even when they're not feeling so well. And this has really been a good testimony that people in our church and even in our village have commented on. We are so full of thanks to the hand in hand directors and to our partner church, and we ask that you remember us in prayer that our school will continue to serve orphans and our community in this way. We are working right now on making bricks that we can use to build a classroom for our orphans who will attend our hand in hand school in the future. Do we have any Muslim children in the town, and are there any in the school? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of Muslims in this village. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have two children, Muslim children, in our school here. Well, it was sure a pleasure to have Shannon Moyer with us here in the Central African Republic. She was a delight, a good sport, and was fun to have along. So, thanks so much for sending her, and we're looking forward to hosting more Dillsburg Grace folks to visit your Bamiyan kids next school year. So, keep them coming. And thanks again. So, now you see and hear the difference you and your sister church in the Central African Republic are making for orphans. This isn't just the sound of kids thriving, it's the sound of God's people, Americans and Africans. Working together to make a difference every day for needy kids. A difference for eternity. A difference for life. A difference for the Central African Republic as these kids become doctors, teachers, godly moms, godly dads, mayors of their towns, lawyers. Honest merchants, farmers, taxi drivers, masons, seamstresses, pastors, electricians.